I want everyone to come to my funeral dressed in a toga. <laughs> I would want a cardboard coffin. The best thing that I would like on my gravestone is do not disturb. On the way out, I think staying alive by the Bee Gees. That would set them on their way, wouldn't it? I know mine's going to be great. Old friends reunite at a friend's funeral where they agree on a drunken pact. We all need to promise if any of us need it, we'll step up and help each other across the threshold. If you had your set of own rules, what would they be and why? Whenever I'm at a funeral, I was thinking, what about my funeral? What's that going to be like? A thing about funerals is that actors are really good at doing funerals. See, so if you've got the skill set, people who aren't frightened of feelings, because they've had to explore them a lot, they're not embarrassed, they go with heightened emotion, very good at reading, eulogies, can speak well, tell lots of jokes, really important. Actors put on a really good show. I would want a cardboard coffin, because why waste all that wood and brass and everything when it just goes up in smoke. I think the best thing that I would like on my gravestone is do not disturb, or is anyone there? If I should die of natural causes and my body is healthy from all the meditation and prayers that I've done, then to bury me in the earth under a tree so that the vibrations will feed the earth and the tree and I would be there forever. I'd get my son to draw all his cartoons that he can draw all over it, which he'd hate, but he'd have to do it, wouldn't he? That's all. If I should die in a tragic kind of way from some crazy man-made disease, burn my ass. And then I start getting sort of naughty ideas, like when everyone's coming in to the church, I'd like to be some, like one of Chopin's uh, nocturnes, be sad, so that, so that the sentimental can cry and the bored can sleep. Him, I think it would have to be uh, Cum Ronda, which is a Welsh hero. You hear it at rugby a lot, it's very durable. I've been on this earth for a long time and I have a very eclectic collection of music in my head. I would just be satisfied. Actually, I would never be satisfied because I'd be dead and I wouldn't know. On the way out, I think Staying Alive by the Bee Gees. There's a wonderful version of Staying Alive by Joe Stafford's Alter Ego, and it's completely out of tune. I'd like that one. Yeah, that one. that'll learn them. And then there's my family, who would definitely do the best music, the best jokes, at my expense, and the best food. I want everyone to come to my funeral dressed in a toga. <laughs> I want men to wear kente cloths. Music, I want bells on their feet and flutes. I, you know, I figure like this, once I'm gone, it's up to you guys. I'm always happy to talk about it but uh, uh, and, and, and laugh about it, but it's probably because I dread it, because I don't want to leave the party. I love it. I love life. The worst thing, not only are you dead, but you can't be there. And I'm really upset about that because I know mine's going to be great. No one gets out of here alive. Those who have gone on haven't come back. So there must be something good out there. <laughs> See you at the next funeral, unless it's yours. Or yours. What are friends for? Stream True Love now on Channel 4.